Alright, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do a window installation. But first, we've got to take the window out. And these are the tools you're going to need. Don't forget your gloves. So you want to take out the side. I always start from the side. Uh, taking out the molding off the side, all the trim. Just kind of get behind it and, it, and it comes off fairly easy. And you just kind of keep a steady pace. Some people go fast, some people go slow. I kind of stay in the middle. I ain't really never in no hurry. Easy does it. And I should have my glasses on, but I don't. I'm kind of a rebel a little bit, so, you know. But make sure y'all got y'all glasses on. Make sure you have some gloves. So you want to kind of pull, grab, shake a little bit. And it should come on out. It's really nothing really holding the window in. But a few nails, especially in these old houses. This house right here was built in 1974, so they didn't use any screws. All nails, so it's fairly easy to come out. And then what you want to do is you want to go around the whole jam and get any nails that's left in. Uh, if you can't pull them out, hammer them inside the frame because those will hold you up from when you start uh, to install the window. So just make sure your jam is fairly, really clean. These are the tools you're going to need. Drummer tool and a skill saw. And this right here is uh, weather, light, weather tape, pretty much moisture proofing tape. You'll put that at the bottom of the jam. And that basically, when the water traces down from the top of the window to the bottom of the window seal, it won't rot out your seal. You just, just added a little bit more protection. So what I'm doing now is uh, the windows is about a quarter of an inch too tight. So basically what I'm going to do is cut, cut out a quarter of an inch at the top of the, the frame, the uh, jam, so the window will just slide right in. And then I clean it up with my drummer tube. Or my oscillating tube, whatever which one you want to call it. But we'll clean the top up after we cut that quarter inch out. We'll make it very, we'll make it even on each side and uh, make it pretty level as we can. And that way, the window should fall right in without any hesitation. All right, make sure your jam is cleaned off really good. Apply your uh, moisture proofing tape or your window seal tape, whatever you want to call it. Uh, make sure you get it good in the corners so no water can get behind, between the wood and the uh, window frame. That's the whole purpose of the tape. So you make sure you get that cleaned off so there's no wood chips or anything is left in that, uh, that tape. Then you're ready to put your window in. And if you're good like me, that window should just fall right in. Yep, just like that. All right. You want to make sure you, you got your protection. You got to have that. And then your level. If everything is level, now you're ready for your shims. I always do a test on the window to make sure it goes up and down. Um, but if it's level, you're ready for your shims. So what normally what I do is I put a shim right in the middle of the window, just a little bit below of the axle of the window, because I can kind of get a, a better gauge of the window on how tight it needs to be as far as putting my shims in. Then I go back behind myself and uh, check the level again. Now I know I'm ready. So I do a window check again. And I'm ready to put some screws in there. So normally what I do, I apply my screw right through my shim. Just because I know I'm, it's not going nowhere. 
and I want to hold I want that shim to hold that same depth of the window opening on each side so I just go right through the shim but you know you can do it any way you want you can go on the side or below or on top of it if you want it's all preference then I go to the top just to keep the window square and keep that distance so I go put a shim at each corner of the top of the window that way I know my window can't it can't uh, move to the side either way, either direction. And I know we're going to have a great seal on the outside. So she's ready to go. Last, uh, next thing I do is I go ahead and cut the shims flush to the frame of the window. Therefore, when I put my trim on, I don't have nothing in the way. Then after that, I'm ready to put some uh, foam in the windows for insulation. The foam is mandatory. Some people put windows in, they don't put no foam in because they think because of the trim and they're going to wrap the outside of the window. Foam is a must. If you don't do nothing else, make sure you put some foam in there. And that's it, guys. I mean, just go all the way around the window and you're good. If y'all uh, like this video, like, subscribe, comment below. Put all your shit talking in the bottom of the comments of what I didn't do right. Because I know you got the experts out there that's going to be talking shit. So it's cool. <laughs> but uh, I hope you like this video. See y'all later.